My name is Kate Allen, and I'm a writer, one of the world's next great novelists. Simon and Schuster? Yes, will you please transfer me to Alan Finston in hardcover fiction? Well, no, I don't know him personally, but... I, yes, no, no, I don't have a literary agent right now, but... Well, what do you mean you don't accept unsolicited material? No, I did not call yesterday. Hello? Hello? Hey, Suzanne. Want to know how my meeting went? I'll tell you how my meeting went. This editor said my book was snarky. He said I had like a certain snarky insouciance. No, that's not good. Ugh. I mean, maybe in someone else's life. Anyway, I gotta go. Thanks for checking in. All right, talk to you later. Bye. Armistead Maupin, you're thinking of a tale of two cities, Dickens. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. On paper, that's how books should be written and read. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hey, Miss Arden. Hi, it's Kate Allen in Los Angeles. I sent you my book, Death Metropolitan Style. Oh yeah, I was just hoping that maybe we can talk about it and... Oh. What? It's not for your list? Oh well. Okay. I understand. Thanks. Call me Pippa. Okay, Pippa. What I'm saying is, you're absolutely right. My book isn't easy to categorize, but... That's what makes it so unique? Well, that may be, but it's a bit, um, hmm, what's the word? Unusual. What's wrong with that? I put unusual on the map in this business. Well, that's exactly... I set the literary world on fire with unusual. That's precisely what my book is, unusual. I'm sick of unusual. What? What I want is a big fat slab of usual for the masses. The masses. Yes, the stressed-out soccer mom who throws her husband down the stairs. Pippa. Or the football coach, the college football coach, who runs butt-naked across the field, screaming obscenities. <laughs> okay, but... Good old Americana. Now, bring me some of that and we'll talk. But you're good. Keep writing. Yeah, keep writing. Enviously recalled Hubble Gardner, the Robert Redford character in The Way We Were. Everything came too easily to him. How opposite this was from her own life. And though he was only a cinematic fabrication of utter perfection, she wanted to rip his pretty little head off. Death. Metropolitan style. Must you type so incessantly? Keep in mind, I know that's a rhetorical question. Yes. I must type incessantly, Joseph, you incorrigible cad. <sighs> Look, I had to work. I had to work the third shift, okay? And I'm on no sleep. And I have to, and I have to sleep. So if you could just please use the laptop, it's quieter. Dorothy Parker didn't use a laptop, nor will I. Please. Look, I have had zero sleep, and if Rip doesn't get his eight hours of sleep, then he's bumping into walls like a zombie. Rip staying here again? Yes. He should start paying rent. Which reminds me, they're upping the rent again. That's $100 for each of us. Again? They can't do that. Well, they're doing it. Well, I'm gonna call the Board of Landlords or whatever it is. <sighs> oh, it's a cruel world, my friend. A cruel world. Mother, I just need a loan for my rent. All we're saying, dear, is that you're a college graduate working in a bookstore. I'm the assistant manager. That's not why we paid for four years of USC. We want you to do something with your life. 
But I am doing something. I'm a writer. We just feel that you could be doing something better, okay? Your Aunt Bunny could have got you into that young executive's training program, and I offered to send you to business school. Daddy, we've talked about this. I don't want to be an executive. You even told me to unleash my creativity, let it run wild. It's running right to the poorhouse is where it's running. <sighs> Sweetheart, I know how much you love your writing, but your mother and I have been talking. Oh, no. We feel that you should put your writing on the back burner for a while and get a real job, a career. But I've never wanted to have a typical life, you know that. Kate, honey, you can't afford to be even half a princess. Lily! Stop babying her, Harold. What about that article I sold to the New Yorker? Why don't you acknowledge that? That was a year ago. So? Why don't you ever give me credit for anything? Honey, I'm saying this because I love you. It's time to take charge of your life. <gasps> Why it isn't Kate? Hi, how are you? Mwah, mwah. It isn't Tracy Redstone. Hi, how are you? Well, soon to be Mrs. Tom Kane. He's a neurosurgeon resident at Cedar Sinai. Oh, my little Snooky. <laughs> Snooky, what is that? Shut up. You shut up. No, you shut up. You shut up. You shut up. No, you. <sighs> You're just jealous, Kate. Yeah, right. You always have been ever since the second grade. Get real. You've always wanted what I have. Oh, and then you lost for a homecoming queen, and I took the ground. Poor Kate, you tried so hard. Yeah, but I gotta go. You nearly ran yourself ragged. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Anyway, are you coming to the reunion? What reunion? The Beverly Hills High School What Are We Doing With Our Lives reunion. Oh, isn't that cute? I'm chairing the alumni committee. I'm sure I sent you an invitation. Why would I go to a reunion with people I literally hide from when I see them on the street? Because it's a part of our high school history. A part of our lives we'll cherish forever. You have to be there. Yeah, maybe. I hear you're working at a bookstore. I practically run the store. Mm, that sounds like an after-school job. You haven't even evolved since high school. Why? What are you doing? Oh, I run my own interior design firm. Yeah, I just did uh, Gwyneth Paltrow's house. So beautiful. Oh. How pathetic, Kate. No wonder you won't come to the reunion. Oh, I'm going to that reunion. Be afraid, Redstone. Be very afraid. You're a loser, Kate. A failure! Yeah, well, you are! You are! Right. Oh, God, buddy. Now, here you go. Now, don't tell your mother. Thanks, Aunt Bunny. My fascist line is worth millions. Who else am I going to give the money to? Diane von Furstenberg? <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> well, I was going to mail the check, but I wanted to speak with you in person. Oh, here we go. Well, I'm worried about you, darling. You're, you're in the prime of your life and not a romantic prospect in sight. But I don't want a boyfriend. But you, you should be out in the world, darling. Meeting men, dating, thinking about marriage. Marriage? I barely even like people. All right, if that's the way you want it. What are you doing? You may have this check on one condition. Uh, oh, no. All right, now listen. I met a man at a charity fundraiser I think you'll adore. Of course. He's, he's divorced but eligible. He's great looking. He's brilliant. He's, he's just adorable, kind, considerate. Oh, perfect, a boy scout. What's his name? Well, now, well it's Michael. Michael who? Hoseball. What? Hoseball. Michael, Michael Hoseball. <laughs> all right, all right. Michael Hoseball? Michael Hoseball. Name is that? All right, it's a kooky name, but he's a gorgeous corporate finance executive. Corporate finance? We'll have absolutely nothing in common. Just trust me. Trust me, will you? I mean, that guy you invited to dinner, he was weeping. Literally weeping. Kate, his parakeet had flown into the path of an oncoming train. Paramedics took him out on a stretcher. Well, the man was studying to be a contestant on Jeopardy. It's a grueling uh, exam. All throughout dinner, he was blabbing about, about bubonic fleas and the Ming Dynasty, and he was gifted to woodwork. Well, 
Excuse me, but I just refuse to stand idly by and watch my niece become an old maid. Right. All right. All right. I'll go. And here you go. Thank you. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Yeah. Look. Liza, of course I still have feelings for you. I am not the one who got out of the marriage. No, I am not driving you insane. Are you seeing Dr. Chimpy? Liza? Liza? It's great though, I mean, this is, uh, this is my spot. You know, it's where I hang out, I live close. It's uh, my home away from home. You know, it's pretty close to my house, so I come here all the time. I know everybody. Awesome. But, uh, yeah, so what's up with you? Uh, what, are there any foods you don't like? Oh, yeah, that's easy. Figs. Figs? <laughs> yeah. Why figs? I don't know. They're just, like, so figgy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what about you? What's the last book you read? Uh, the last book I read. Well, I just finished a book on mergers and acquisitions and international business trade. Oh, <laughs> I see. Very esoteric. <laughs> <laughs> I sound hopelessly stodgy right now, I know. No, it's, no, no, not at all. Definitely not. Yeah, it's just, um, <laughs> I eat, sleep, and breathe business. It's it's on my head constantly, so I'm just... <laughs> Listen, can I be honest with you? Yeah. So, I haven't met a guy in, like, a hundred years, and I... I don't know, I just... This, <laughs> this kind of stuff like, doesn't happen all the time, and I feel something. Kate, um, you're sweet. Okay. Oh, but no. It... <laughs> oh, God. I was about to pour my heart out to a guy who's dumping me. Kate, it's... It's my hands, isn't it? They're sweaty. No, Kate, it, it's not your hands. God, they're always sweaty. I should wear gloves. Kate, look, I just, I'm, I'm not available I was, right now. I was going to just create this palm. Great, okay, Kate, listen. Kate, listen. It's not you, okay? I, I'm not available right now. What? It, it's, it's my ex-wife. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. said he's unavailable. Something about his ex-wife. That, that's not my fault. I had no idea. It was so humiliating. I'm, I'm failing at everything. No, you are not. Oh, you're just saying that's to keep me from killing myself. Now, Kate, don't you suicide with me as a manipulative tool. Oh, you just have no sympathy for anything I'm going through. Would you stop? And Bunny? Yes? I've made a decision. A monumental decision. That's good. Good! Brace yourself. All right. I have no life, I'm broke, and I have no career. Oh dear, you say that like it's a bad thing. <laughs> Come on, I can't even get a smile out of you. <laughs> Come on! And Bunny? I'm gonna do something drastic. Oh no, Kate. Not, not, not that! Something so extreme, so extraordinary. Yes? I have decided that I, Kate Allen. Tell me! Right this very moment, am officially going corporate!
Hey, Miss Allen, don't you ever rest? Oh, not if I can help it. <laughs> Hello, Kate Allen's office. This is Roger. Oh, yes, I have it right here. Ow, paper cut. Ow. Oh. Oh, yes, she is a manager of book acquisitions. Oh, no, no, no. You have a great day, ma'am. Oh, thank you. Bye-bye. Ow. 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 Ow, not again. Ow. Kate. Michael, hey. this is ridiculous. My, my aunt. Yeah, I talked to her. She told me all about it. God, she always does things like this. I think it's great that you're working with me. Look, I gotta go. Kate, do you eat lunch? <laughs> Come on. Come on. I joined the Peace Corps, and the next thing you know, I'm on a plane in New Guinea to cut sugar cane. The Peace Corps? Yeah. You? Don't act so surprised. I'm actually pretty earthy. <laughs> Is that so? Yeah. Yeah, I've actually uh, worked for Greenpeace. I went out on one of those inflatable rafts and stopped whale hunters. How brave. Yeah. The polar bears. Just clinging to the last of their polar ice caps. <laughs> what is this world coming to? I don't know. Michael, I can't, I can't do this. What do you mean? Oh, this is, is, I just can't. It's probably in conditioning. I'm just, I'm used to being rejected. <laughs> okay, so I'll reject you, and then we can go out. Aw, you do that for me? Yeah. <laughs> don't answer it, please. Okay, it's work, I have to answer Michael, it. you don't need to answer it. I have please. to answer. Michael, give me the phone. Kate. Oh. Okay, I, I have to answer my phone, okay, it's my thing. I work, I, I have, yeah, please give, just give me the phone. Kate. Just slam. So this is abnormal? No. Fine. Okay, for, for the rest of lunch, I won't answer my phone. Deal? Deal. You can't do that for five minutes. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> what, do you, what do you want to do later? You want to go see a movie? <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> see? It's... Michael! I don't, it's not, it, I don't care. I don't, no! Okay, Michael. Kate, give me the phone. Give no! Me the phone. Kate, just your, give me the phone. Your neck veins are bulging. Kate, just let me look at who's calling. Look at you. You're it about to have important. an aneurysm. Kate, the phone. Just what? give me the phone back, please. No. Kate. Kate, give me, give me the phone. Fine, give have your phone. stupid phone. <sighs> Hello? 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 Good work today, Roger. Oh, thanks for selling. See you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Suzanne, I haven't blown you off. I work like 16 hours a day. So what, is that your life now? Just sitting behind a desk? No. And you're the one who's chilled out. I invited you to a party last week. Did you come? I'm not going to Yup Street. Who cares what kind of party it is? You could have come. What's happening to you? Nothing. What's with you? Fine. When it's driving me crazy, I can't understand how you can possibly be happy editing other people's writing. You just can't stand that I'm growing. Kate, I've known you since kindergarten. I don't like the person you're becoming because I know that's not you. Okay. You know what's wrong with you? You have this idealistic vision of the artistic struggle. I'm succeeding for the first time in my life. You drive a Beamer with a car phone and a fax machine. Oh, so I should just keep driving a broken down car as some sort of statement? Oh. <sighs> Look at us. We can't even talk anymore. Yes, we can. Suzanne, why can't you just be happy for me? Honestly, I can't. Not like this. Very nice. You want me to lie? I won't do it. 
Garcia. So Tina, as I told you on the phone, we are looking for a new book to add to our list. Something fresh, imaginative. Well, I'm number one on the New York Times bestseller list. See? Look, look, look. Girl Fabulous by Tina Blodgett. I certainly am aware of that. And you're what, like 22? I'm 19. 19? Hmm? How did you? I'm like a writing machine. I wrote my first poem when I was six and the teacher put it up on the bulletin board for everyone to see. How cute. Oh, I write every single day and I just like pour my creativity onto the page. Oh, well, that's like fabulous. And my dream is to win the Pulitzer before I'm 25. And I'm also going to Radcliffe, so I'm like totally busy. Oh, very sweet. Anyways, I have offers everywhere. I really wanted to talk to you before making my final decision. Oh, I appreciate that, Tina. I'm just sure we can just work out a deal. Super, I'll have my agent call you. <laughs> Super. Bobby, can I ask you something? Sure. What if you wanted something so much and wasn't what you thought it would be? Well, I suppose I would have to ask myself why I wanted it in the first place. But what if that something meant that you had to give up a part of yourself? Miss Allen. I notice you don't smile much anymore. I don't? Look, I know I'm just the concierge around here, but the way I see it is, you could have all the success in the world, but if you're not happy, what good is it? Thanks, Bobby. Anytime. I never wanted to have a typical life, you know that. You're a loser, Kate. A failure! Daddy, we've talked about this. I don't want to be an executive. You know the answer, Kate. Start writing. We want you to do something with your life. I am doing something. I'm a writer. I'm a writer. I'm a writer. If I do something fast, I'm gonna be made senior vice president. <sighs> hey. Rewriting. I'm back. Metropolitan style, in its own morbidly fashionable way, was actually a new beginning. As she walked up Fifth Avenue, leaving her dead husband sprayed out in the foyer of Bergdorf Goodman, she knew then that her life would undergo a profoundly irreversible change. Our high school reunion. Can you believe it? It's surreal. Wait till Redstone sees this. And Bunny, Dad. Hi. Hi, Suzanne. I just want to say again how proud I am of you. Thanks, Daddy. Suzanne. Mr. Allen. <laughs> My daughter, the author, I've given everyone I know your book. And you look beautiful. Congratulations, dear. Thanks, Aunt Bunny. 
Where's mom? She said she'd be here, but with the divorce, who knows? Yeah, I know. Her face is pulled so tight she can barely breathe. I saw. Detestable shrew. She's probably traipsing around Fiji for some kind of a sexathon with her latest adolescent stud. Just sickening. Always hated that woman. If I could have killed her, I would have. Me too. Oh. <laughs> well, we just wanted to say congratulations. You both look wonderful. Thanks, Thank Aunt Bunny. Have fun. Have fun at the reunion. Why, if it isn't Kate Allen, I can't believe it. You made it. Damn right. See you at the reunion, Redstone. The book looks fake. Shut up, you bitch. You're the bitch. You are. I hate you, Kate. Die, Redstone. I've been hit by a bulldozer. You? Best I've ever been. <sighs> wow. I didn't just see that. <laughs> that was that incredible. Was incredible. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. <clears throat> <clears throat> 